As of March 22nd, 2020, St. Lucia has a total of two confirmed cases of COVID-19. On Friday, March 20th, 2020, the Rodney Bay Public Health Facility opened to facilitate increasing numbers of passengers requiring quarantine and isolation. Today, Sunday, March 22nd, 2020, we have over 100 persons in quarantine and three in isolation. Special provision is put in place for the elderly, pregnant women, and those with small children. Quarantine conditions include single room boarding, except in the case of families and couples. Quarantine is necessary for persons who are well, who may have been exposed to a communicable disease. It applies to people who may or may not become sick. It restricts the movement of healthy people who may develop a disease after possible exposure to an infectious agent. It requires people to stay in a designated location for a specific period of time. Active monitoring, including temperature checks and checking for respiratory symptoms is done. Quarantine centers have been set up using various hotels to facilitate the large numbers of returning nationals or any non-nationals that may arrive from an area of concern. Over the past two days, the Rodney Bay Public Health Facility has been challenged by persons in quarantine at attempting to abscond. Persons who went back into communities were successfully returned through the help of the police and the community. The Ministry of Health expresses thanks to the community for their commitment to protecting the health of their neighbors and collaborating with us for the prompt return of the individuals. By communities working with us in our response to COVID-19, we are better strengthened in reducing the possible spread of the virus. If you have information on anyone coming in from an area of restriction in the last 14 days, please notify the public health officials or the police. The public is reminded to focus on the maintenance of standard recommendations to prevent the spread of infection. We continue to advise on social distancing as an effective strategy to reduce the spread of COVID-19.